All right, you Star News viewers and Casino TV viewers. I tell you what, I'm always trying to invite people with this casino in town and people that live here to come check out this consignment shop. Your stuff. Da -da, what do we got today? First of all, I, I know what I got to tell them. I got to tell them that we're consigning for win uh, fall and winter and Christmas. That's right. You can even bring your Christmas stuff in now to yeah. sell. And it's selling. Like Christmas, can I bring a Christmas tree? Absolutely. Yeah. I've got one I'm getting ready to decorate now that came in yesterday. All right. All right. I love it. Halloween stuff, you can bring that now too? Bring your Halloween stuff, yes, yeah. because, you know, we only have about, what, 60 days right. or so to sell it. Right. So. And if you're watching this November 1st, don't bring the Halloween stuff. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh. So I was uh, got out some of our nice inventory here. I got a little North Face jacket mm -hmm. at a fraction of the original cost. Very fuzzy. Yeah. So this jacket originally retailed for one hundred and thirty dollars, and our price is forty. So boom. Here's a here's a nice little fossil bag. We've got lots of designer bags, by the way. People love your bags. Yeah. They talk about them all. It's the time. always nice to have champagne stuff on a beer budget. Oh, um, this. Fossil bag, it was originally, I don't have my glasses on. Um, <laughs> Happens to you too? <laughs> $195 and our price is 65 but it's it, it's like brand new. Oh, yeah. And we were going to show the boots today. Uh, These we're boots were made for here. walking. Now, this is just a small selection of the boots. Uh, we got the tall boots in this case. We got all kinds of short What's your boots. favorite boot? Pull one. Um, well, yesterday we got in a bunch of Western boots, which I thought were really cute. Mm -hmm. Big time. Yeah. So I think they're really All cute. Right. I, I'm just to grab these. This is the deal of the day, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You got the Spearies. They came brand new in the box. Somebody never wore them. And the original price on those was 160 Our price is forty nine ninety nine, right. And they're brand new. Right, right. So, you know, I just for some reason, I wouldn't think you'd have a lot of boots, but you proved me wrong. Oh, no. And we've just gotten started because this is still August. So can you imagine how many more boots we'll have? In September, October, November. So it just keeps on growing and you growing. You want to stay tuned. we got some important information coming up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, stay tuned to the end. We have something special for you. So don't tune us out yet. Um, right. Oh, and don't forget we need to talk about the jewelry. Yeah. Um, this is just a small selection. We have um, the real stuff locked up in a case. But, again, that's all a fraction of what you'd pay cool. in a jewelry store. Hey, you know, one thing I know, every time I come here, everybody's asking, what's this price mean? So you don't mind telling them, do you? No, so we have our markdown prices already on our tags. Yeah. So if you look at the original price, you want to look down on the next line, and this says that after 8 7, it'll be cheaper, and after 9 7, it'll be even cheaper. So right. you want to watch those dates on the tags because we call them automatic markdowns. Markdowns. So read those tags and check the dates out. But you don't mind helping them out? No, okay. and, we'll, and if, if we think you're new in the store, we'll offer, you know, we'll tell you I'm all about it. stupid. <laughs> well, probably every time you come in, one of us yeah. is going to think you're new to the store, right. so they're going to tell you about okay. the price tags anyway. Right. You want to head over to Home Decor? You better stay tuned to the show. All right, they tell me Christmas is coming, so come in every week to check out Christmas. This is fall. We've got uh, your picture of your mom up there. Check out all these fun things. Tell me what's hot here. Okay, this is our fall harvest department, and um, we always feature up front, you know, the current season. So even though the current season is fall harvest, um, in the back there, we've got Halloween, and even further back, we've got our Christmas department. So you might want to shop all, because like we got this awesome six foot tall Halloween tree with orange lights on it that sold the same day. Oh, wow. So it's not too early to bring your Halloween. It's not too early to bring your Christmas. We sold some really cute holly jolly Christmas pillows already. Right. So they're already shopping. All right, I'm going to give you the mic because I'm going to cry, which you got to tell people. So I'm, I'm going get, to get out of the picture, okay? Okay, I got the announcement to make oh. that, that, that y'all have been waiting for. <laughs> All right, let's get to tell them what's happening. All right. Okay. Well, looking back now, it's hard to believe my idea to own a consignment store started out as just a college assignment. It was just a project I wanted to ace a class, not something I really intended to do. Uh, but life has a funny way of surprising us, and 10 years later, in 1993, I unlocked the door to kids' stuff. Consignment has always been a part of my life. Living in New York City and Washington, D.C., those were the stores my mom shopped for us. Picture my mom back here. She'd find us everything from the basics to the fancy, and I loved seeing what she would bring home. As I got older, though, I worried my friends might see me in the secondhand shops. But my mother didn't care. She said, well, if they do, they'll be here, too. It's funny how her voice and unwavering confidence is still in my head as one of the guiding principles. 
as we grew to be your stuff consignment boutique. Working for myself turned out to be the best decision. Not only was I able to have the freedom and financial ability to spend more time with my family, I was able to start another one, the one formed by our team and our customers. For 31 years, we've become entwined with the community and been at its core. The people I met through the years aren't mere customers. They're part of our story, as we are a part of theirs. Multiple generations coming in to shop together as we shared stories, laughter, and milestones. There's really no other business that can build this type of a foundation for so many. But now I want to see the store pass on to someone else as I announce my retirement and search for the right person to carry your stuff forward. To see the legacy continue with a new owner at the helm would be the greatest gift of Danville. For so many families, we are their place for their children, for their homes, for themselves. Nothing is changing for you, our customers, as I announce my retirement. But if you would like to talk about becoming the next owner of Your Stuff Consignment Boutique, please reach out to me by calling 434-836 1450 or email me at yourstuffconsignment at comcast.net and just as my mom predicted all those years I find myself in the best consignment shop in Danville surrounded by friends old and new and so can you and that's my announcement thank you <laughs>